Now, now I uh, try to show you how to retrieve the signal saved in memory and we use it. Now, as you know, this is the where this stage it shows the uh, module number and the frequency uh, able to be, to be received now. We press now and you see the receive button, uh, the, 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 sorry, the receive indicator is on. Now we can press the uh, B button. So you see, the signal uh, we learned uh, lastly display on the screen, right? And we can uh, press down to find the 30, 32, 31, 430, 29, 28, 27, and so on. Now you see now, uh, all the chipset are 22, 62, uh, just because we use, uh, we have this remote control on hand, but it can actually decode a variety of chipset. Now, this time you see, now the chipset is uh, 1527, right? Now, when we go to the signal you want, now, for example, this is the 12th one. Now, do you see after I press page down, the receive uh, indicator, RX indicator is off. Now, and this time you can press SC. ST or uh, indicator on that means that now this signal can be triggered so uh, what you go, what, what you should do is press a, button A you press the button A now when you press button A do you see transmitter signal is a uh, flashing flashing now that means uh, the signal this, this signal with this code send out okay now if you want to uh uh do with another other signal turn it off press page down and switch to the signal you want we go to further fee now press sc st ready right press a this uh this code will be sent 